It is a true blessing and my honor to be joined in a unique way as chaplain to the Concord Fire Department. I'm still working my way through lunches at the stations to meet everyone, but I look forward to every visit, conversation, and call with you. I congratulate all those receiving awards at this ceremony and thank all of you for your perseverance and dedication to a profession that is often difficult and sometimes thankless, but one that is, at its core, service to others. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful Father in heaven, look down in your love upon all those who protect us and ours from the ravages of fire and flame. Grant them the courage and skills to carry out their duties well and safely. When they must go into the face of danger, be by their side in the smoke and flames. Watch over their families, ever reminding them that those who fight fire are also in your loving care. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. So I'd like to thank Chief Newberry for giving me this opportunity to speak to you for a few moments. Um, I know you're, you're, everybody's very busy, but uh, I'd like to share with you a thought that I have regarding uh, what it takes to be a good firefighter and a good paramedic. And in my mind, it's the attitude that you bring to the job every day. And I'm so proud of what you've all done over this past year. Because uh, for me, attitude really affects, uh, I, people who have good attitude show a lot of self-motivation. They show a lot of dedication to the job and they believe in training and as I see the job that you do you know, the operational effectiveness whether you're successful or whether or not something's a failure really goes back to your training and your approach to training and I think what I see from the Concord Fire Department and the train the, the way you approach training your attitude about your job really speaks volumes about the success that you've been able to have. Um, I can hold the, the Concord Fire Department up to any department in New England and you shine. So thank you for that. Um, one of the things too about during this entire pan pandemic situation, uh, you have been the shining example of what Concord means. And you've been there for everybody. I have no doubt you will continue to be there for everybody going forward. And thank you for that. And on behalf of the Concord City Council and myself, um, really keep up the great work. I have no doubt in any of you, and I think this is going to be a, a good year going forward, and I hope you get to enjoy the summer. Well, Bedford Deputy Chief Ken Keith Folsom, please step forward. The Concord Fire Department would like to recognize Mr. Keith Folsom, current Deputy Chief of the Bedford Fire Department, for all his time and effort he put forth in assisting with the renovations of the communications facility. Mr. Folsom was instrumental in assisting with construction details and guidance of the communications facility. He assisted with layout of the kitchen and kitchenette, installed the cabinetry, and built custom shelving. The unselfish actions of Mr. Keith Folsom have made a positive impact on this community. As such, the City of Concord Fire Department honors you with a Helping Hands Award. Thank you very much, Chief. Well, Concord Police Officer Michael Cooper, please step forward. On June 30th, 2019, at 1015 hours, Engine Company 5 and Ambulance Company 7 were dispatched to 7 Morelay Court. Due to the nature of the call, Concord Police was notified and requested to respond. Upon arrival of the Concord Companies, they found the patient in cardiac arrest and CPR being administered by Concord Police Officers Melissa Pfeffler and Michael Cooper. The patient was successfully resuscitated and transported to Concord Hospital and after further treatment was discharged. The recognition of the severity of the medical emergency along with the efforts of these 
police officers is reason for a successful outcome. The patient was truly grateful and was later able to stop by the station to meet and thank those individuals for saving his life. The quick response and actions taken on this day by Officer Michael Cooper have made a positive impact on this community and brought great credit to the Concord Police Department, the Concord Fire Department, and the City of Concord. As such, the Concord Fire Department honors him with a Helping Hands Award. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you. Every year the Concord Firefighter Relief Association gives out scholarships to members or members, family members that are seeking secondary education. This year we'll be giving those to Julie Ackerson who will be attending Merrimack College, She's the daughter of paramedic firefighter Rob Ackerson. We'll be also giving one to Annika Stone, she'll be attending Keene State College. She's the daughter of Captain Jeffrey Stone, we'll be giving a scholarship to Monique Saroyce who is attending St. Anselm's College and she is the daughter of Fire Marshal Paul Sorois and will be also awarding another scholarship this year to Sydney Ingram who is attending the University of Tampa and is the daughter of Battalion Chief Tony Manning. Firefighter Paramedic Justin Cantar, please step forward.
The Concord Fire Department has a long history of service to the Muscular Dystrophy Association of New Hampshire. During his three-year tenure on the department, Firefighter Paramedic Justin Cantor has been a tireless advocate and volunteer for the MDA. Firefighter Cantor has been instrumental in organizing multiple fundraising events annually. He has recruited volunteers, been generous with his own personal assets, and donated hundreds of hours of his free time. Firefighter Paramedic Cantor has shown persistence in motivating other department personnel and family members to help with fundraising efforts. The results of these efforts has resulted in $7,052 being donated to the Muscular Association of New Hampshire. The unselfish actions of Firefighter Paramedic Justin Cantor have made a positive impact on the community and brought great credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. As such, the Concord Fire Department honors him with the Community Service Award. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> well, Captain Elisa Folsom, please step forward. That's your name. The Distinguished Service Award recognizes members of the City of Concord Fire Department who out, throughout their career have continuously exemplified the best qualities of those who have distinguished themselves not only as individuals within the Concord Fire Department, but as fire service at large and especially as members of our community. Professionalism, strength of character, and empathy toward their fellow citizens are landmarks of such a person. Several speak of those qualities, but few still attain and practice them. Captain Elisa Folsom is one of those. Captain Elisa Folsom was appointed to the Concord Fire Department as a fire dispatcher on January 3rd, 2000. She was promoted to the rank of captain and the position of dispatch supervisor on January 27th, 2019. During her distinguished career, she has had many accomplishments and notable achievements. She is well known throughout the Concord Fire Department and the Capital Area Fire Mutual Aid Compact as a calm and cool, competent dispatcher who can be relied upon to relay vital communications and life-saving information with clarity. She has served as a ship representative and vice president of IAFF Local 1045, where she could be relied upon to be a valuable contributor to healthy labor and management relations. She was the recipient of the Concord Fire Department Firefighter of the Year Award in 2012. Shortly after being promoted to captain, she undertook many significant projects. Most notably is the Communication Center reno Renovation Project. The project included replacement of a 1960s era communication console with modern ergonomic design new computer-aided dispatch system, and an upgraded radio and communication systems. Within two weeks of promotion, Captain Folsom was faced with a catastrophic communication systems failure. She responded from home to implement the continuity of operations plan. She followed the restorations of services. Captain Folsom conducted a thorough after-action review that will lessen the chances of similar incidents and improve the response should a similar incident ever happen again. The unselfish actions of Captain Elisa Folsom have made a positive impact on this community and the region and brought great credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. As such, the City of Concord Fire Department honors her with the Distinguished Service Award. Thank you, Elise. following individuals, please step forward. Firefighter Eric Booker, Firefighter Paramedic Ryan Hughes, Firefighter Paramedic Mike Langeal, and Firefighter Matthew Fallon. Thank you. 
At 10.15 hours on June 30, 2019, Engine Company 5 and Ambulance Company 7 were dispatched to Severn Murlock Court for medical aid. Upon arrival, Engine 5 was met by Concord Police, who were already on the scene and were administering CPR to this patient. The companies confirmed the cardiac arrest and began advanced life-saving support. On the arrival of Ambulance 7, the patient was immediately placed into the ambulance and transported to Concord Hospital. Due to the efforts of all individuals on scene, the patient was successfully resuscitated and transported to Concord Hospital. The patient underwent further medical treatment and was later released from Concord Hospital. The patient was truly grateful and was later able to stop by the fire station to meet and thank those individuals for saving his life. The actions of the Concord Police and the Concord Fire Department working together on this day truly provided the most efficient and effective patient care. The members of Engine 5 and Ambulance Company 7 were on this day indeed a credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. As such, we honor them with this unit citation. Thank you very much, gents. Much appreciated. Will the following individuals please step forward? Firefighter Mike Souther, Firefighter Todd Beal, Firefighter Paramedic Joe Curtin, Firefighter Christopher Scarpino, Firefighter Paramedic Keith Richardson, Firefighter Jared Beard, and Beth Davin, Paramedic, and Paramedic Lieutenant John McBride. On April 12, 2019, at 1000 hours, Engine Company 7 and Ambulance Company 7 were dispatched to Manchester Street for a motor vehicle accident with possible fire involvement. While en route, Engine Company 7 noticed a large column of black smoke and requested the assignment of additional units. First two companies arrived on scene to find two vehicles with significant damage. One vehicle was fully involved with fire. All occupants had been removed from the vehicle prior to their arrival with the help of bystanders. Companies found one patient in cardiac arrest and another suffering from multiple traumatic injuries. Due to patients being located downhill from the vehicles, Lieutenant Christopher Otteson ordered delayed extinguishment of the fire to prevent runoff. With the arrival of paramedic Lieutenant John McBride, Members of Engine Company 7 and Ambulance Company 7 began patient care with the most critical patients in cardiac arrest, while paramedic Lieutenant John McBride initiated treatment of traumatic injuries to the second patient. Ambulance Company 4 arrived shortly after and assisted paramedic Lieutenant John McBride with treatment and transport. Faced with a dynamic incident consisting of two critical patients and a motor vehicle fire, Companies on scene were able to accomplish all tasks required of them with minimal personnel. First arriving companies acted quickly in taking steps to ensure the safety to all patients as well as bystanders on scene while delivering critical patient care. The members of Engine Company 7, Ambulance Company 7, Ambulance 4, and Paramedic Lieutenant John McBride were on that day indeed a credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. And as such, we honor them with a unit citation. Thank you all very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Is the... Will the following members please stand forward? Captain Al Robitis, Firefighter Patrick Richardson, Firefighter Michael Souther, Fire Paramedic Keith Richardson, and Firefighter Todd Beal. On February 10, 2019, at 0714 hours, Engine 7 and Ambulance Company 7 were dispatched to 455 Shaker Road for a reported unconscious individual. Upon arrival, the companies found a 48-year-old male in cardiac arrest with his wife performing CPR. The members of Engine 7 and Ambulance 7 took over patient care by immediately applying the Lucas device and administering advanced life support measures. 
The patient was placed in the Ambulance 7 for transport to Concord Hospital. Due to the patient's condition, it was determined by Firefighter Paramedic Keith Richardson that an RSI procedure would be needed to stabilize the patient. Furthermore, through the ongoing efforts of the crew, ROSC was achieved prior to arrival at Concord Hospital. The patient was released shortly after the incident and continues to recover at home. The actions of Captain Al Robitis, Firefighter Pat Richardson, Firefighter Mike Souther, Firefighter Todd Beal, Firefighter Paramedic Keith Richardson, all made a positive impact on this community and brought great credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. As such, we honor them with a unit citation. Thank you all very much. Step forward. Will Lead Dispatcher Harold Palmer and Lead Dispatcher John Marcel please step forward. On July 4, 2018, 11.33 hours, the Concord Fire Department Communications Center received a report of a motor vehicle accident with several seriously injured patients who needed extrication from a vehicle. Upon receipt of the phone call, Lead Dispatcher John Marcel and Harold Palmer immediately recognized the severity of the situation and quickly and efficiently worked as a team to initiate a rapid and supplemented response that would ultimately impact the outcome of events that day. In fact, Lead Dispatcher John Marcel and Harold Palmer were able to radio tone units for response in less than 15 seconds of receiving the call. The nationally accepted standard for dispatching such a call is 60 to 90 seconds. And while our center strives to excel those standards and exceed, a 15 second dispatch for a critically injured patient is indeed exceptional. In addition to their quick response to requests for service, Lead Dispatcher John Marcel and Harold Palmer made a critical decision to supplement the established response card and dispatch Concord Fire units to the incident. This decision to vary from normal established run cards response resulted in the critically injured patient receiving advanced life care support 11 minutes earlier than if they had not started the Concord Fire Department units. This decision made by the on-duty dispatchers was invaluable in the life-saving measures taken by the responding crew. The responding companies arrived on scene to find two patients in the vehicles. They were extricated and it was found that one of the patients had life-threatening injury. The patient was immediately treat treated and prepared for transport and a rapid sequential introduction procedure was used to secure his airway. He was transported to Concord Hospital and subsequently airlifted to Boston Hospital for additional surgery. Despite considerable uncertainty whether he would survive his injuries, the patient was able to return home in November of 2018 and re continues to recover to this day. The actions of Lead Dispatcher John Marcel and Harold Palmer and responding companies resulted in successful resuscitation of this man under extremely stressful conditions. As such, we honor them with this unit citation. Thank you both very much. Please step forward. Will the following members please step forward? Captain Derek Martell, Firefighter James Pratt, Firefighter Zach Gagnon, Firefighter Paramedic Mike Kelly, Firefighter Zachary Lobdell. On 28 September 2019 at 2322 hours, Engine Company 5 and Ambulance Company 5 were dispatched to 4 Roger Air for medical aid. Upon arrival, the companies found a 52-year-old male complaining of chest pain. While firefighter paramedic Mike Kelly was providing treatment, the patient went into seizure-like activity and then full cardiac arrest. Crew members quickly initiated CPR and defibrillation. The patient became conscious shortly afterwards and was transferred into Ambulance 5 where an EKG was performed and cardiac drugs administered. Upon arrival to Concord Hospital, the patient once again went into cardiac arrest. Crew members initiated CPR and defibrillation and revived the patient a second time. The patient was taken into the cardiac catheterization lab for treatment and returned home a few days later with no deficits. 
The quick actions and teamwork by these personnel resulted in a successful resuscitation. The members of Engine 5 and Ambulance Company 5 were on that day indeed a credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. As such, we honor them with this unit citation. Thank you, men. Thank you. Thank you. The following members, please step forward. Lieutenant Christian Lund, Firefighter Adam Morris, Firefighter Zach Ernst, Firefighter Paramedic Kyle Haas, Firefighter Dan Bickers. Dan Bickers is not here yet? Oh, he's still here. All right. On 29 December 2019 at 2157 hours, Engine 4, Ambulance 4 were dispatched to 12 Myrtle Street for requests for medical aid. The companies arrived on scene and found the residence was secured, delaying the crew's entry into the residence. The companies made contact with the wife of the patient who came to the door and allowed members to inside to assist. It was further realized that the patient was in full cardiac arrest and the patient's wife had been administering CPR prior to their arrival. The members of Engine Company 4 and Ambulance Company 4 immediately continued advanced life support efforts and transported the patient to Concord Hospital. Prior to the arrival at Concord Hospital, the patient re regained ROSC. The patient was taken to the hospital where patient care was transferred to the emergency room staff. The quick actions of Concord Fire Department on this day truly provided the most efficient and effective care possible for this patient. The members of Engine 4 and Ambulance Company 4 were on that day indeed a credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. As such, we honor them with this unit citation. Thank you very much, Bennett. Will the following members please step forward? Firefighter Paramedic Keith Richardson, Firefighter Patrick Richardson, and Firefighter Todd Beal. On February 10, 2019, 0714 hours, Engine 7 Ambulance Company 7 were dispatched to 455 Shaker Road for a report of an unconscious male patient. Upon arrival, crews were met by a patient's wife who had begun CPR. The crews took over and continued emergency medical care. The patient was quickly moved to the back of Ambulance 7, where members used the Lucas device and administered life-saving medications. Due to the effectiveness of the care being rendered, the patient regained spontaneous movement while compromising the, without compromising the otherwise life-saving care. Realizing the need to control the patient's airway, Firefighter Paramedic Keith Richardson Firefighter Patrick Richardson and Firefighter Todd Beal successfully employed RSI to stabilize the patient. All members worked together to continue patient care and achieve ROSC prior to the arrival of Concord Hospital. The patient was released from Concord Hospital and continues to recover at home. The actions of Firefighter Keith Richardson, Firefighter Patrick Richardson and Firefighter Todd Beal have made a positive impact on this community and brought great credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. As such, we honor them with this Emergency Medical Service Excellence Award. Thank you both. Thank you. Will the following members please step forward? Firefighter Paramedic Kyle Haas. Firefighter Scott McGrath, Captain John Chisholm. On August 15, 2019, at 1950 hours, Engine Company 7, Ambulance Company 7, and Tower 1 with Car 4 were dispatched to report of a motorcycle accident on I-393 at the 93 on-ramp. Upon arrival, crews were met by two emergency department nurses who had begun treating an unhelmeted 30-year-old motorcyclist with a severe head injury exhibiting ineffective breathing. The patient was quickly packaged and transferred into Ambulance 7. At this point, the crew on scene communicated the need for a trauma alert and made the decision to perform a rapid sequential intubation. 
The victim exhibited posturing due to trauma, making this procedure extremely difficult. Companies worked together effectively and su were successful in securing his airway. The patient was transported to Concord Hospital and has since recovered and made a full recovery. The actions of Firefighter Paramedic Wes Nelson, Firefighter Paramedic Kyle Harris, Firefighter Scott McGrath, and Captain John Chisholm have made a positive impact on this community and brought great credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. As such, we honor them with an Emergency Medical Excellence Award. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Appreciate it. Step on the table. Could firefighter Jeffrey Kaput Kepit please come forward to receive the oath of office? Thank you, Jeff. Firefighting is one of the world's most honored but dangerous occupations. When there is an emergency in our community, the firefighters are one of the first on the scene. Firefighters are relied on to respond to a myriad of emergencies, including fires, motor vehicle accidents, hazardous material incidents, rescue operations, explosions, medical emergency, and many other critical incidents. Firefighters are civil servants. As sworn officers following standard policies and procedures of the fire service and standard operating procedures of their departments. <clears throat> they, are, they are there to prevent human suffering and death, to stabilize the incident and prevent damages and loss of property. Today it is a great honor to welcome and swear in Jeffrey Caput as a member of the Concord Fire Department. Jeff, I'll give you a copy. It's highlighted. If you'd raise your right hand and repeat after me. I. I. Jeffrey Kippett. Jeffrey Kippett. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. To faithfully and honestly perform all the duties to the best of my ability. To faithfully and honestly perform all of my duties to the best of my ability. To uphold and follow the high standards of the Concord Fire Department to uphold the high standards of the Concord Fire Department. To affirmatively promote the principles found within the mission statement and our core values. To affirmatively promote the principles found within our mission statement and core values. To protect the lives and properties of the citizens of the United States that I am sworn to serve. To protect the lives and properties of the citizens I am sworn to serve. To obey the Constitution of the United States and the State of New Hampshire to obey the Constitution of the United States and the State of New Hampshire, and to continually follow the policies, procedures, and regulations of the Concord Fire Department, and to continually follow the policies, procedures, and regulations of the Concord Fire Department. Welcome to Concord Fire. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Nicole would like to continue. Awesome. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> Captain John Chisholm, could you step forward, please? Come join me. Captain John Chisholm was appointed to the Concord Fire Department on October 23, 2016. Captain Chisholm has demonstrated the highest degree of dedication and participation to activities within the fire department, including training, emergency response, education development, and numerous other fire department operations. Captain Chisholm routinely goes beyond the normal duties of his position to make valuable improvements that have enhanced the department's ability to better serve the community. Captain Chisholm is extremely proficient in his duties and always displays a positive attitude, a high level of professionalism, and extremely strong work ethic. Despite the overwhelming amount of work, Captain Chisholm consistently finds ways to help his co-workers across all divisions and all shifts. His willingness to assist others 
and his commitment to high quality education is unequaled. He is quick to respond to requests and is always there for complicated issues. Captain Chisholm embodies the Concord Fire Department's mission, statement, purpose, vision, and values by his dedication to continuous improvement in training and quality assurance across all phases of our operation. The, the unselfish actions of Captain Chisholm have made a positive impact in this community and brought great credit to the Concord Fire Department and the City of Concord. As such, the City of Concord Fire Department honors him with the 2020 Firefighter of the Year Award. Thank you, John, very much. And this is John's family to present him with the plaque. Thank you very much.